Hello, this is Mr. Kodak11 and today I have a new video which I'm going to show you how to update your Samsung Galaxy S2 to the latest version which is Jelly Bean 4.1.2. So to get started you'll need to have Odin and just download that, just Google it and just have in download Odin. On here is the first link and you just scroll down and click that. You, you would also want to have WinRAR to extract all the files and to, to get the actual um, firmwares you want to go to sammobile.com or if you, if you have any other websites you can use that as well but I'll put a link in the description where to get the files and how to download them and also yeah that's it that's all you need you need your phone's USB cable you need to connect it to your computer and then when you connect it you should you should hear your computer do that sound and then you want to open up Odin. Odin is. Yep. You just want to quickly open the art and extract it to your desktop. I don't think you've got it extracted. Um, you just want to extract desktop. OK. And yes, so there it is. And open that, click it, just click yes. And then here you can see that when you connect to your device, it comes up with this blue box. And it doesn't actually matter what it says, what the um, letters and numbers are, you don't really need to worry about that. So all you want to do right now is click, <coughs> click PDA and then you want to find your file and the, the actual jelly bean file mine's here just click it and it usually ends in tar.md5 click open and then you want to make sure that auto reboot and reset time is is ticked you don't want anything else to be ticked and then I just clicked on it and it's not responding just, just wait a few seconds and then it should respond It's probably because I'm downloading another file as well. Yeah, there it is. All you want to do right now, actually, before you start doing this, you need to go quickly onto your phone and then do a few stuff on it before you start it. So I'm just going to show you that quickly on my phone. As you can see, this is my Samsung Galaxy S2. What you want to do on your phone is quickly go to Settings, scroll straight down and click Developer Options, and you want to tick USB debugging and just click yes. Sorry, sorry. Before you can do this, you need to remove the USB cable, otherwise it won't work. Okay, now what you want to do is click USB debugging and you just click OK. Now that is turned on, and just to make sure this is 4.0.4 .4 ice cream sandwich, as you see here, ice cream sandwich, there. And all you want to do right now is turn off your phone click power off and click OK and you just let your phone turn off you're going to wait for that vibration to come up and then it's successfully turned off yep there it is and now what you want to do is it's okay I can't really do this with the camera but still you have to do this press the volume down key home button and power key at the same time. You want to press it all at the same time. So you, you want to press it simultaneously, okay? Hold it. So, when you do this, you're presented with this, where it says a custom OS can cause critical problems to the phone and install applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key, otherwise press the volume down key to cancel. Also, there is a risk of bricking your device. It's not my responsibility if it does get bricked, but even if it does get bricked, you can easily um, revert it back and stuff. It's not that hard. So all you want to do right now is just click volume up. This Android thing comes up and it says downloading, do not turn off target. What you want to do right now is just connect your USB cable again and then you want to go back to your computer alright you just want to quickly connect your USB cable again there you get that sound and then the blue box gets ticked again 
and you just want to click 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 start you want to let this go through its process which could take a few minutes and it shouldn't take more than about 10 minutes I guess and whilst you're doing this on your phone you can see a blue bar moving across and I'm just going to quickly show you that as you can see this blue bar is just moving across and you just want to let it finish and you go through and it will end up here and then it will restart I'm guessing so yep you just want to let that go through and let it all do it so yep just have some patience and wait just a word of warning you do not want to be messing around with your computer or your phone whilst this is happening because you could actually break the device like that or if the USB connection gets interrupted that is bad so you don't want to mess around with your computer or with your phone in any way just let it finish and yeah that's it and then it will be finished alright it is nearly done it is actually going on to modem now and as you can see this green bar is nearly finished there's just a bit more left and on the phone the blue bar is like nearly done and now it's in the kernel and in a few yeah that's it done I'll show you what's happening on the phone right now quickly as you can see this android man just came up and it just went and now it's rebooting the phone's rebooting you will see it reboot quite a few times you want to let it go through that process you don't want to mess it up or anything and then there you go jelly bean the new startup screen and then this will just flash for a few minutes or a few seconds i'm not sure and then once these touch buttons light up i'm guessing that you're ready to go and you just want to let this go through, you don't want to mess with it or anything you see the Samsung logo is just blinking, my camera is not very good actually it's not really focusing properly yep these two keys just came on and on there it says optimizing app it's out of 106 you just want to let this go through the process and it says Android is upgrading touch buttons came up you wanna let this just fly through and then yeah it's done 41 44 out of 106 I will just come back after it's actually finished yep the Odin thing has just changed the pass right now and it took 6 minutes and 28 seconds to complete the process and on the phone it's just optimizing the apps and it's just nearly finished yet. Yeah. As you've probably seen that you, you've successfully updated your um, phone to Jelly Bean and it should work. Alright it's optimized 104 out of 106 right now and it just says starting apps, upgrading everything, it's, I think it's going to just run through it again and it says finishing boot that's a good sign if you want to see that and bam there you go I think this is jelly bean yep looks like it anyway yes it is you just want to quickly run through this just click next I'm just going to skip this now yep just want to let do oh yeah and the keyboard's changed as well you can see here looks different, it's a bit more spaced out just gonna skip that then just click finish yep it's finished just click ok and as you can see this is official jelly bean and if you wanna actually get the actual blue background and stuff, stuff um, you just wanna quickly um, back up and reset and you should click factory data reset and then just click reset device because that will actually reset your device and then make it like the actual jelly bean and as you can see android 4.1.2 jelly bean and yeah you can just throw it about and this is the actual kernel and everything January 14th it was made and I'm not sure if this works or anything because I haven't actually set it up but it should I'm guessing it should connecting to server please wait 
Oh yeah, and this pull down bar is all different. It's like it's a lovely one. It's pretty good though. It's nice. And yep. This will be like an S3, it'll be exactly like an S3 actually. It's like a replica. This everything. Looks looks wonderful actually. Looks pretty good. Pretty neat. Not bad. So yep. Thank you for watching and this is the official Jelly Bean update. And yeah, um I'll just quickly show you some stuff on PC and that's it. Thanks guys. I just want to give a huge shout out to Via Tutorials for providing me with software to update my phone to Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Make sure you guys check out his channel too. And yeah, make and thanks for watching my video. Hope you subscribe, comment and thumbs up. Thank you guys.